Yeah, it was good. I mean, uh, I thought it was relatively empty, not empty enough, but uh, um, yeah, it was just great to get away. And obviously, as you get older, you you appreciate that time off a little bit more. So um, yeah, it was it was nice and excited to be here and get back into it. You didn't get to go to the last two Olympics. What was your reaction to the 2026? It's great news. I mean, with all the uncertainty that's been around it in years, you know, years prior, and um, just how great of experience that it is, I think. Uh, it's just awesome news, and I'm sure that uh, a lot of players are, are really happy, and especially, you know, to commit to two years, you know, two different Olympics. I think that'll be that'll be great. How hungry are you to get back? Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, it's an unbelievable experience, and to see the best players go head to head, uh, representing their country. Um, from my experience in it, I don't know if you get better hockey than that. So it's. Uh, Great to be a part of, and, and great for fans and, and everyone involved. So it's a, it's a special thing, and like I said, to have two that are you know committed to that, I think that's that's really important. What was your reaction to seeing me drafted? I was happy. Uh, you know, I wasn't sure where I was going to go in the draft, and uh, <laughs> you know, I'll take I'll take third. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's fun to see. I think it'll be pretty competitive. I think. Uh, Guys have a lot of pride, and when they're picking their teams, uh, they're going to show well. So, you know, between that and the skills tonight, I think uh, people will definitely, uh, you know, see the skills on display and uh, tonight. And then, obviously, with the game, I think it'll get pretty competitive, which is great. What do you make of Nate's season so far? Um, you know, I've said before at different times when, you know, you see him elevate his game in the playoffs, you, you just don't think that he can find another level, and he somehow does. So that's what great players do. Um, yeah, he's just been on a tear, um, making it look easy, but it's it's not. So, um, you know, happy to see him doing well. Obviously, I, you know, I see firsthand, you know, in the summers how hard he works and what it means to him. So, uh, he's getting rewarded for it. Just go back to the Olympics. Did it feel like when, when they, because of COVID, when 2022 didn't happen, did you sort of feel like that was maybe your last chance because it had been eight years? I try not to get caught up in it too much you know there was always a lot of talk leading up to it and you're trying to get your hopes up and and obviously when it didn't happen you know you just have to move by it and understand that there's you know a lot of factors but you know I think uh, a lot of players are pretty vocal about the fact that they want to be a part of it and I you know I think I hope that you know going through those those times that eventually it would make its way back and it would be possible so uh, like I said it's great news and I think uh, everyone's going to be really happy with the fact that we'll be there uh, you know, soon. I'd love to. Um, you know, I don't ever think too far ahead, regardless of, you know, how old you are. I think you always, you know, go a year at a time and, and see how it goes and where your game's at. But I mean, yeah, I'd love to be a part of it. It's something you have to earn, though. It's not something that's given to you. And if you represent your country, then you got to earn it. You said, I know you have a deep appreciation for the history of the game. Nobody since 92. Yeah. You could tail off a little bit and still get there. What do you think that would mean for the game if he was to get there? And what do you make his ability to score? Well, like you said, it hasn't. You know, it's something that's that's been a long time. So I think, uh, you know, it would say a lot. Uh, I think if there's anyone that comes to mind that's capable of doing it, it's him. You know, if you were to ask any guy who could do that, it's him. So um, it takes so much, and you know, even you know, pure goal scores a number like that. You know, you need some bounces too. You need some things to go your way. But uh, he's uh, more than capable. He's shown it, and I think it'd be great for hockey to to see a run like that. Uh, I think that just brings more attention to the game. And uh, as players, I think you appreciate you know records like that. I don't know a lot about it to be honest. I mean, uh, I've tried to educate myself as much as possible, but. I think recently there there hasn't been a lot that I've I've seen on it. I've seen some players' names mentioned and that sort of thing. Um, until I until I know more details, you know, I'd probably be better commenting more then. But um, yeah, I mean, obviously not a great situation. But you know, I'm not going to speak out of, out of line if I don't know the exact details. I mean, we're at the All Star game. I mean, I don't I don't know if I want to start having this one-on-one -on -one conversation about culture, that's a pretty broad conversation to be having in a 15-second soundbite, but 
I'd be more than happy to have it with you off the side if you want to do that. Yeah, I think it's great. I mean, he's obviously still playing, so I don't think many guys have been in that situation where they're still playing and they're getting their jersey retired. But, um, you know, it's uh, it's pretty awesome what what he did for the team and um, what he means to the city. So I think uh, all that combined, it's it's really fitting, and I think it'll be a cool thing to be a part of, you know, growing up, watching him and seeing what he accomplished, playing against him, and uh, to see his jersey go to the Raptors, I think will be special. I think it's impressive. I think that, uh, you know, you have to love it. And obviously he competes really hard. He has high expectations. And I think when you've had high expectations like he has um, for so long, that's probably all he knows. And um, But I think it, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of uh, drive and, and passion to be able to do that. So I think when, when you see guys that are able to do that, I think you have an appreciation for what they're able to do and accomplish. And uh, those are, you know, easy things to cheer for. I think. As far as All-Star games go, does this one carry any added meaning taking place here in Canada? Uh, I feel like there's always a little bit extra buzz for sure. I think uh, as players, you can always feel that around All-Star weekend, just you know, with the fans and with everything going on. Uh, there's a great energy wherever you are, but especially uh, you know, in a Canadian city and a place like Toronto, that's had so many different things over the years. Um, you know, it's a, it's a great hockey town, and I think that people really get behind it, and you can feel that for sure. Sid, there's been a big uh, Vancouver representation of the game this year. What do you make of uh, sort of the work that Rutherford and Tom have done to give your history? Yeah, I've done a great job. I mean, I don't know what, you know, people before the year, whether they would have been predicting, you know, where they'd be at and the seasons that some of the guys have had uh, up to this point. Uh, I think that's a credit to, to the players, obviously, but also to the, the people around them. And, you know, I think Jim and Talk have done a great job in, in helping them and uh, their whole staff. So uh, they're playing really well as a team and individually their players have been performing well. So uh, I think, you know, a lot of people deserve credit for that. Yeah, it's not easy. I think, uh, you know, talking about Austin and the goals and, and things like that, it kind of goes back to that. I mean, you, you need some, some bounces. And obviously what they went through early in the year is probably a big reason why they're so hungry and, and uh, you know, have been able to define their game like that. Um, you know, they were challenged early on and, and uh, have responded the right way and been able to throw a lot of wins together. It's, it's not easy. The league's so competitive, and anyone can beat anyone. But uh, yeah, I think that's, that's really impressive. I don't know what my longest win streak has been. I've, I'd say it's you know, 14 or 15 around there, maybe. Um, unbeaten, I don't, know if, I don't know if they were overtime losses and things like that. But it was, it was uh, something around that. I, w I want to say one year in March, we had a good run, um, something like that. So. Yeah, and I don't know if it's that in a row, but that's that's quite the streak. And, um, you know, for anyone that's been a part of that, that's fun to be part of. Just the last question for Sid. What do you see What does he do? Yeah, I, I think he just he knows his body well, and he works hard. He knows, uh, he knows when he has to put the work in. He takes care of himself, um, whether it's off-season or in-season, too. Um, yeah, I think he's just every year he's learning more and more and he's getting better because of it. You know, he doesn't, uh, you know, rest on the fact that he had a good season the year prior or the year when they won the Stanley Cup. Um, you just see that drive year after year. It's the consistency of that. I don't think it's, if it's not anything necessarily different. If I had to say it's just more the experience and he's using that to his advantage. Thanks, Sid. Thank you. Thanks.